Geostep. Instructions for laying on slopes. Geostep is designed to strengthen slopes with an angle of laying from 30 to 60 degrees. Slope design. Before starting the work with Geostep, it is necessary to plan the slope surface. Slope layout is made with the help of construction equipment, if necessary, a hang tool. Geotextile laying. The non-woven geotextile geonid end is laid on the prepared surface. First, on the upper horizontal part of the slope, mountain racks are mounted on which a roll of geotextile is fixed. Then, geotextile is unwound along the slope. It is important to remember that after laying each strip of geotextiles, it must be temporarily fixed, for example by composite anchors geoforce. This is necessary to ensure that geotextile, which has high saleage, is not displaced by strong gusts of wind. After unwinding, geotextile is cut off with a construction knife. The next strip of geotextile should be laid with an overlap of not less than 15 cm. The joint of the laid geotextile plots is soldered by a blowtorch or temporarily fastened by anchors. Installation of Geostep Unlike traditional 3D geocells, Geostep is supplied in rolls, which facilitates and speeds up the laying process. First, a packing tape is removed from the Geostep roll and the direction of untwisting of the cell sheet is determined. Then Geostep is installed on the mountain racks, and only then the packing tape that holds the roll is cut. The design features of Geostep are that the working position of the cell is achieved by stretching the cloth with a simultaneous opening of the cells at an angle of 90 degrees to the horizontal line. At the same time, the workers standing on the top of the slope near the roll should control the tension in the correct position of the cells when untwisting. The rest of the roll is cut with a construction knife in such a way that no less than 50 cm of the geostep remains at the working position on top of the horizontal slope. At the top of the slope, two composite geoforce anchors have a special hook behind which the upper edge of the cell wall is fixed, finally fix the geostep section. After the section is fixed on top of the slope, the temporary anchor retaining geotextile is removed and geostep is stretched to get the working position. And after that, the section of geostep is finally fixed on the outer edge of the composite anchors. Composite anchors must be clogged from the outside of the cell wall of geostep. To turn the anchor in the desired position, a special hole is provided in its design. The next segment is similarly installed. After the second section of geostep is laid down and fixed on top of the slope, the sections are fastened together. The fastening can be done by a manual stapler, but we recommend using a pneumatic stapler that allows the worker to apply less effort and speeds up the installation process. The number of staples per connection must be at least three. Also, in Geostep, there are technological holes for fastening sections with special rivets and clamps. Among other things, technological holes serve the rope pulling if it's a design decision. After two sections of Geostep are connected, the temporarily installed anchors holding the geotextile are dismantled. Later, they are used for the final fixation of Geostep. The location of fixing the anchors should be in accordance with the design decision and be at least one and a half anchor per square meter. The third and subsequent sections of Geostep fit the same principle as first two. Back filling. After the geostep is fully mounted on a slope, the soil is filled throughout the surface. The height of the aggregate must be at least 3 cm above the cells. Alignment is done first mechanically and then manually. In the end, the slope is sown with seeds of long grass. Depending on the requirements of the project, other bulk material, for example crushed stone, must be used as a filler. Installation work is completed, you can look at the result.